Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to make icicles in Blender because Curvify, my asset pack, now has icicles. So to celebrate that, I'm going to show you how to make icicles. By the way, if you don't know about Curvify, you draw curves, it makes anything. Link in the description. So, it's been selling like hotcakes. Here's how you make icicles on any object. So, and this isn't the curve version. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick an object that we want there to be icicles coming off of. So let's say we have a sphere and you're gonna make that a geo nodes group. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna scatter a bunch of points on this. So distribute points on faces. And you wanna think of this as each point is gonna spawn an icicle. However, icicles only come from the bottom of objects. So how do we define that? Uh, so for any object, what we can do is we can look at the normal and say, uh, is the normal pointing downward? In other words, is it close to 0, 0, negative 1, that vector? Easy enough. Take the uh, normal, take the dot product of 0, 0, negative 1. So again, that's the vector that goes down on the z-axis. And the dot product is basically going to output how close is it to doing that. So when it's a uh, actually pointing down, it's going to give a value of 1, and then when it's perpendicular, it's going to give a value of 0. In other words, if we take this and connect it to the density, you can see it's kind of doing the right thing. I'm going to do map range and increase this by a lot, and you can see now it's kind of only on the bottom half of the sphere. If you want it so it's really only on the bottom and we don't have this perpendicular section, which there already isn't much of, uh, we can increase this uh, parameter. So it's only going to look at the dot product between point 0.3 and 1. So on these points now, what we can do is we can instance on points a icicle. What's an icicle? It's basically a cone that we're going to modify. So we're going to take a cone and I'm going to transform it by flipping it over by 180 degrees. And let's just view this cone. I want to make it very, I want to make it very thin, very thin and not that tall. So let's see what this looks like. Bunch of icicles. Take this and merge it uh, with the original mesh. And you can see it's kind of getting there. Uh, we, we need to do a bit of work on this. First of all, I'm going to increase this dot product thing so it's really only coming off of the bottom here. And uh, for the icicle shape, I'm going to bring down the radius a bit. And for the scale, so they're not all identical, we can use a random value for the scaling, which is going to make it so that not all the icicles are the same. And we don't want any of them to be a scale of zero, so let's uh, have a minimum of 0.2. Okay? Cool. Uh, to give them a bit of character, a bit of shape, I'm going to add a bit of side segments. So this is basically, if we look at the wireframe view, it is going to add segments as we go along the uh, height of it. And the reason I'm adding this geometry is uh, I'm going to distort it. So I'm going to realize these instances. So it's actual geometry we can mess with. I'm going to set position. And for the offset, I'm going to use a noise texture. And this will not work if you don't have extra geometry. So every time you have a noise texture, make sure you subtract by 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This centers it. And then we are going to scale it by something close to 0. So you can see. Uh, this gives our icicles some shape. Kind of last thing, you see that the uh, tops of these are kind of sticking out, and I want them to be inside the mesh. Uh, we want to fix that. Easy enough. Take these points, and we're going to set position and offset a bit on the z-axis, and just kind of put them inside. Okay, so I'm going to make this set shade smooth, and now uh, really all we have to do is give this thing a nice uh, material. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you that this works with any object as well. So I'm applying a material here. And now I'm just going to go to cycles so that we can actually view this. So in cycles, I'm going to add an HDRI so we can see what we are doing here. Let's do an outdoor kind of like overcast uh, HDRI. And here's what we're going to do for the material. So in the shading workspace, open up the material you're using for the icicles. And here's how we make ice, pretty simply. Take the transmission, bring it up. So now it's nice and transmissive. Take the uh, roughness, bring it down. Now it's nice and reflective. And by the way, we should uh, apply a different uh, material uh, to the uh, sphere itself. 
So I'm going to set material here, create a new material. I'm going to call this material two and just have this with a principled BSDF. And then in geometry nodes, I can have this use material two. And uh, let's actually add some divisions to this. I'm adding a subsurf of level two, but it's taking its time. There we go. Um, so, and I want the subsurf to be actually in the beginning. There we go. Um, so, uh, now we have uh, icicles. Uh, let's make the material a bit better, because right now it kind of looks like ice, but it also kind of looks like water. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some transmission roughness, which kind of makes it look solid, but I'm going to do that with some randomization. So I'm going to use a noise texture. And with this noise texture, I'm going to clamp it. So we get some definite black areas and some definite white areas. And bring down the white. Set this to be the uh, transmission roughness. And additionally, if you want to get fancy, we can also use this map uh, for some normal mapping. So connect that and this to the normal. And I'm going to increase the detail. And you can see, uh, now we have very nice icicles. So let me, let me just kind of review what we've done here. So what we have is we have a geometry nodes. Let's open this up. We have a, a geometry nodes uh, node group that basically what it does is it spawns icicles at a certain uh, normal, you know, so a certain normal condition and at a certain density. Uh, we can change the icicle uh, size by changing the cone depth so that they can hang very far and uh, this works with any mesh so if I take this uh, sphere and let's change it to like a torus and we apply geometry nodes and apply this node group you can see it's only hanging exactly off of the bottom let's try something a bit more complicated this one might look a bit funky um, so I'm going to add Suzanne and geometry nodes for the icicles and you can see that actually kind of makes sense it's hanging off the bottom of the ear and all this um, if it's a bit intense we can always uh, bring down the density of these icicles so there's fewer of them and change the seed so there's a different distribution of them uh, but that is how you make icicles in blender so hopefully that helped again a uh, blend file for this is going to be available um, on Patreon, so thank you to all my patrons. And additionally, uh, check out Curvify, which now has an icicle brush. Thanks for watching.